Today on Plugin Friday, we're going to look at the Acusonus ERA bundle. Hey, what's going on? Chris here from Mixdown Online. Now, before we jump in and talk about the ERA bundle, if you are new here on the channel, subscribe, click that notification bell, and for all of you, share and like. Now, the ERA bundle from Acusonus is a restoration bundle. Those are restoration plugins that you use when you're stuck with damaged files. Uh, for example, if you, uh, by mistake, recorded a vocal too loud or any type of source that you recorded too loud and you just went over the zero dB point and you just damage your file by overclipping, there's a plugin to fix that. And also, if you're stuck with a recording that has a lot of ambience noise, there's also a plugin to fix that. So stuff like that can be fixed with the ERA bundle. Now, if you're watching this video on March 22nd, 2019, I'm giving away two licenses of the ERA bundle standard. And this is all thanks to Acusonus that just give me those licenses to give away, which is pretty cool. So thank you, Acusonus. So the details for the giveaway are in the description down below. So feel free to jump in and get a chance to win this pretty cool bundle. So now let's jump in Cubase and look at what we have here. Okay, now let's start with the noise remover. Okay, this plugin is very cool uh, if you're stuck with a recording that has a lot of noise. For example, if you are a videographer or a vlogger, this tool can be very handy, especially if you're in a shooting where there's a lot of background noise going on and your voice recording take is a bit damaged be because of this, you can solve that with the noise remover. So what I did, I recorded myself with a fan uh, that was just down behind me. And this is what it sounded like with the fan on. Recording my voice with the fan on at the moment, it's quite annoying to be honest with you, but it is quite annoying. So let's uh, try that with the noise remover. Recording my voice with the fan on at the moment, it's quite annoying to be honest with you, but we'll see if the era noise... Re That's pretty cool. If you're stuck with a damage file that you need to keep, um, this plugin is gonna do the job easily. Uh, so this is for the noise remover. Uh, now let's check the plosive. Now the plosive is quite nice as well. That will remove all the P's, the B's, the T's. If you forgot to put in a pop filter in front of your microphone, you can use the plosive uh, remover that will take care of all the P's and stuff. Okay, so let's uh, try this out. Again, I recorded myself just to test the plugin. Very nice tool to remove the B's, the T's and the P's. Very nice tool to remove the B's, the T's and the P's. Pretty nice. So there you go, so very straightforward. Now the cool thing about those plugins is that they made them very easy to use with only one knob and everything else is mainly done under the hood. So this is it for the plosive remover. Now let's listen to the voice leveler. Now the voice leveler, this is a very useful tool, especially in a spoken word recording where the recording is inconsistent as far as level goes. I used it with one of my clients. He was conducting an interview on one of his videos and I was actually editing the video at this point. And the way he recorded that video was with two lavalier microphones and those microphones were plugged into one channel. So only one channel for both microphones. And the level between the two microphones was inconsistent. So I needed this tool to, uh, to fix that up and that worked pretty well. So uh, what I did here, I did a test where I spoke near the microphone and further away from the microphone. And then I used the voice leveler just to bring everything closer together. So let's listen to what I have here. Talking close to the microphone and now I am just further away from the microphone, getting back uh, close to the microphone and then further away from the microphone. All right, I'm gonna activate the voice leveler. Talking close to the microphone, and now I am just further away from the microphone, getting back uh, close to the microphone, and then further away from the microphone. Okay, so as you can see, it does the job pretty well. 
in this type of situation, it was perfect for me to use this plugin. Uh, and you have like a bit more settings here uh, that you can work with, the breath control, emphasis, and um, again, tight or normal. So there's minimum settings on uh, this plugin as well. The main thing is the knob here, where you can increase the effect of the leveler. Um, so it is uh, pretty nice. Uh, that did the job for me anyways. Uh, now, the Reverb Remover. Now, this is a very cool plugin. Now, this one can be handy um, if you, uh, if for example, I vlog in a, uh, in a big hall where I have a lot of uh, room sound coming into the microphone. I can use the Reverb Remover just to tie up my voice sound and get rid of all the excess of reverb and room sound that I get. For this next example, I recorded myself in my bathroom. The ambience here is very annoying, so I'm gonna try to tone this down with the reverb remover. The ambience here is very annoying, so I'm gonna try to tone this down with the reverb remover. Now let's try with some claps. For the next example, I have a snare drum, a, sa a sample of a snare um, that I just bounce with a reverb, a room verb. And we're gonna remove that verb and just keep the dry sound of the snare. All right, so I'm gonna activate the era reverb remover. Pretty cool. I actually used that plugin, uh, that was maybe a month ago, where the client sent me a song to mix and uh, the drums were sampled drums and the snare had like that huge reverb uh, on the snare track. And I was kind of stuck with this snare sound. And what I wanted to do is just to get rid of that verb and focus more on the drier tone of the snare and build from that. Um, and this is what I did. I used that reverb remover and that helped a lot. And from that point on, I was able to just mix the drums with that sample as a core sample and then add some other samples as well just to uh, reinforce the tone of the snare. And it worked pretty, pretty well. So this plugin was a... Uh, was pretty helpful. All right, so now the declipper. Now this one is quite interesting, okay? This will be in the case where by mistake, you overclipped a recording, okay? You went past zero dB, your file was destroyed, um, and you, you ended up with digital clipping, which is not pretty good. So just to give you an example, I recorded my voice and I oversaturated my recording. Uh, so you get this type of file. The waveform has been chopped, um, as you can see. So that means that I'm clipping, so let's have a listen. My voice is clipping. My voice is clipping. I'm gonna use this plugin offline because it is very hard on the CPU, okay? So uh, I'm gonna click on F7 in Cubase, and I already have an instance of the declipper. Now it is bypassed for now, I'm just gonna activate it. And as you can see, just focus on the waveform. I'm gonna do this again. Look at that. Now it recreated the waveform, uh, so you don't see the clipping anymore. Now we're gonna listen to what that sounds like. Okay, I'm gonna do a before and after. My voice is clipping. My voice is clipping. It's way better, it's not perfect, but it's way better. Actually, I would probably be able to work with that if I was in a situation where I absolutely needed to keep that take. Um, so again, there's some, uh, some different settings that you can use. There's type one, type two um, that you can use and also standard quality and high quality you know, with this plugin, I suggest you to go in high quality, but use it offline, like I just did, uh, and use it only on a specific part of uh, the, the, the performance where there's clipping. So if like your entire track is clipping, just re-record the track, you know, but if you're just stuck with one part of a waveform of a track that is clipping, this type of plugin can be a lifesaver. So there you go, uh, the D-Clipper. I'm gonna try this again but on the snare, I did it on the snare. Um, and there you go, now this snare sound is over clipping. 
All right, let's apply the declipper on the snare this time. Pretty cool. So it works pretty well. So there you go. So this is the declipper. Then uh, part of the bundle, we have a de -esser. Start that from the top. When you're stuck with S's, you need a de -esser. When you're stuck with S's, you need a de -esser. Okay, so that's a typical de -esser. And now if you add a bit too much, when you're stuck with S's, you need a de -esser. We're gonna, You're gonna be stuck with a lisp, okay? And you don't wanna have that type of sonority, okay? So just balance that out so uh, you get um, you get the best out of a de -esser. All right, guys, so this is the ERA bundle from Acusonis. I've used those plugins before, and I'm pretty happy to have them into my, uh, my plugin list for me to use in case of an emergency, <laughs> okay? Uh, so again, if you wanna know more about those plugins, I'm gonna leave everything down below in the comment section. And don't forget to jump into the competition to get a chance to win a copy of the ERA bundle. I'm gonna give away two licenses. Again, thanks to Accusonis. All right, guys, if you have any questions or comments, please leave everything down below. And don't forget to share, to like, and to subscribe if you're new here. All right, see you soon.